boys and girls, men and women. Eve Echoes Tournament or Eve Echoes Brawl, whatever it is, we got some stuff to talk about. Do you remember the Verge of Silence event May 2020? On the first day of that event, numerous battles broke out in the systems. From frigates to capital ships, countless ships were destroyed. Based on the mechanic of Verge of Silence, Netis has come up with the idea. Cooperation Clash, a system that aims to solve the problem, such as assembly difficulty, long distance travel and huge losses when corporations are fighting each other. Now this all sounds very fun and very cool, but somehow they missed the point. Now I have talked about cooperation tournaments and or overall tournaments in this game. That it would be a great thing uh, with the leaderboard. So they kind of do it, but the way they do it might not be the way we wanted to. So I thought maybe we go through it and we discuss it a little bit, or I talk about it a little bit, and you say what you think in the comments. And we go from there, alright? Introduction. To improve the cooperation combat capabilities of Capsuleers corporations, Concord has established the cooperation warfare simulation system at all stations. So pretty much the DIR. Only the corporation management member who have the relevant authorization can initiate, accept or refuse the cooperation clash. They can also view the initiated and pending clash records in current clash. Now if you remember when I talked about having wars in the game, where we could, you know, start a war with another corporation and freely fly around and shoot each other in high sack. Now my points were that if you start a war, they have to accept it and it has to cost ISK to make this happen. Now they have the same idea, it's just that it's not in high sack. It's like in the DIR. So if you look at this image here, this is the result page of a fight. You can see the damage that uh, each corporation have done. You see the banners, uh, total ship losses, battle scores and participants. Um, that's obviously just a, a show image, but that is pretty much how it looks. Uh, you can find an opponent or you can initiate a clash. Now, the difference between those two is interesting here. The initiator can choose the mode the type, the time, and the number of participants in the clash. So you can see here clash mode, arena mode, or challenge mode. Clash type is lossless. In battlefields, 50 players or 100 players. You cannot choose individual like 5 people or 2000 people. It's 50 or 100 here. This is an example. It, could, it can change, of course. You will set the clash time. Uh, war declaration view permission so can all corporation watch it or can only the participating corporation watch it looking further down you see it cost a billion out of 195 billion isk here to initiate a clash after one corporation successfully initiate a corporation clash the rival corporation will receive a battle information in their corporation all right if it's an arena mode, all corporation can view the clash in my corporation, but only the first one who accept it can participate successfully. Now you can see here battles not started. This one cost 500 million. I'm not sure what makes the prices differ, but it does feel like we can start a fight without destroying the real structures that basically just cost us money and time. Let's continue. After the rival corporation accepts at the request, members of both sides can enter the battlefield from stations, personal citadels and corporation citadels when that time comes. So I would assume you go into war games and you just find it there and you can jump in with whatever ship you have. I assume it's your own ship. In the battlefield, each side has one base station and two shield defense arrays. You can only attack the base after destroying both shield defense arrays. You win by destroying the opponent's base station. So it looks like one of these uh, MOBA games, right? Or Dota or whatever, right? So you have to destroy those and you, you force your way to their base and you, and you kill their base. So uh, my, my initial feeling is, damn, this is boring. But I mean, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. If no base is destroyed at the end of the battle, the side with the highest score wins. 
and the score is determined by the damage dealt to the opponent's base or shield or and shield as well as ship losses. So that is actually pretty cool. Uh, it does look like uh, it, it feels like a Dota game. And as you can see on this image here, this corporation won and this corporation failed. Participate 18 people. So maybe you can go in without being 50. I don't know. I don't know. But the question is like, why would you do it? It seems like it's going to be expensive. And why don't you go and bash the real station, man? That's kind of what we do because we can take something. So what do we gain by doing this? I have to ask. Participation in the corporation class will not be rewarded. Oh, just as I say it, man. We want to avoid the situation that the system is taking advantage of some corporations seeking rewards only. And we hope everyone can simply have fun in the corporation class. So why does it cost money then? Why does it cost you a billion or 500 million to join it if it's just simply to have fun? Answer me that, Netties, because why would people spend three, four hours in an evening just to pretend to win a fight versus someone? Why not go out and do real PvP and loot the wrecks? Just tell me. I, I really don't understand this part. Maybe you understand when I keep reading. We we'll see. Gameplay highlights. Easier to assemble. Corporation members can fly their ships. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Into the battlefield from any station. Okay, yeah, we read that at the scheduled time. No more traveling to the assembly point, greatly lowering the risk of failed assembly. All right, all right, so I get it. So uh, it's pretty much a way for people who don't maybe have time to join the CTAs. They can sign up and join this stuff that could be set up for both parties to work at a better time. I guess, I guess. So this is a uh, practice. This is practice mode for corporations. For example, Void and SHH. We can go and practice with our people and, and become better uh, FCs and have a good time with those people who can't actually join for real. Okay, I get it, I get it cross-region battles it's more convenient for two far apart corporation to join battles without worrying about losing participant due to issues encountered on the way to the battlefield so is connections and and stuff in real life happens so you have to turn off your phone but uh, i i do have a question when i read this like can we fight people who are blue or is it still just fighting um enemies because we should be able to fight blues too right because it's just fun it's just for fun so yeah, I assume we can. Number three here is friendly, friendly alliance contest. It provides a platform for a corporation who wants to challenge their allies. <laughs> Gee, shut the fuck up, man. Why don't I read everything and then talk? I don't know. That's just who I am. It provides a platform for a corporation who wants to challenge their allies with the intention of practice and enhancing their tactics. We believe that corporation will fight with manners in the arena do you I, I, do you believe right of course we will of course man tactical examination it offers a stage for tactical masters in new eden to show their talents and verify their strategy in every battle we may have a new tactical master in new eden in the near future that's pretty cool i do like that title how do we know that? I'm, I'm gonna... No, no, no. Corporation Glory. We also made Corporation Honor Badges. That's why I shut up. Representing the power of the corporation as well as bringing sense of honor to members. I do like that. Corporation Honor Badges. I think badges are the worst thing that we could have in form of honor. I think they're really bad. But I mean, we do get more, uh, that could be cool if you make them really, really cool. Look at my cards, man. Make the badges cool. And a little note down here, after it's released, there will be a four weeks of testing time to test the stability as well as optimizing the gameplay. All battle data will be deleted after the test. All pilots who have participated in cooperation class will have a chance to win a 30 day Omega duo bundle. That's okay. We will draw the raffle uh, to announce the winners after the test. Okay, so what do I feel about this? Um, it's a way to teach new FCs the way of the game. It's a way to improve our FCs we have today. 
for a small fee just for fun and i think that's a really good idea but i do also think that since everything they do with the dir with with the faction war games everything is just to test new frontiers within the game so i wouldn't be surprised if this is successful they can use this I do not want a free game right now. They can use this as a means to make a real PvP arena event with big ranks. I don't see this as an issue. I think this is a good thing. And I sincerely hope that they will push this even further so we can get our alliance tournaments. Also get the alliance tournament ships, which we would really much like. I hope most of us would like to have it. It's going to be trophy ships. But not only that, but if this is successful, this is a start of a cooperation war declaration system. Because imagine this, but you can instead declare war upon someone and be able to fight in high sec with them. Now, I have to state and I have to really explain this. If you go to war with someone, they have to accept it. Or it has to be a fair way because this is still a mobile game. Some people want to play this game fair and casual and this war declaration thing should not be a means to destroy people who can't fight for themselves that is very important but i think we should have the option now the cooperation clash i think it's a really cool idea and i think you guys will like it too and i see you guys again